what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today i decided that instead of being homeless looking i should get dressed and ready and i don't know do my hair do my makeup look cute post a freaking selfie on instagram are you guys the type of people that do your hair first or do you guys do your makeup first because i am the type that does my hair first If you guys are not following me on Instagram, go follow me. It's Fashion Sista. The link should be in the bio. Um, I also have a business page, so you guys need to go follow that too. Uh, I freaking hate commercials on YouTube. But you know what? I understand because you get paid for those. So, can't complain about it. So, I get paid through them too. It's only five seconds, and then you can push skip. But if you're a real one, you won't push skip. But isn't Larry June like awesome? I think like it helps you to just like enjoy your own vibe. Um, this is just a video that I wanted to film of things that I do to help calm my anxiety and just in general, like whenever I'm feeling like down or when I just feel like there's so much going on in my life or just anything that just makes me feel emotional, I like to come to... Um, this beautiful place. I mean, it's not beautiful like it's not like the prettiest place But it just brings so much peace to me like when I'm here like I just feel like dude the <laughs> But it's like the closest thing that I have to a beach So if you know me, you know that the beach is literally my getaway But I live like an hour and a half away from any type of beach. So this is what we'll have to do yeah right now i'm parked in this like specific spot in this area where i've gone so many times in in my life during hard hard times that i've went through um it's a little bit scary coming out here by yourself now just because of all like the sex trafficking and stuff going on and around everywhere the world um but it's like the perfect spot to watch the sunset so i I was locked up in my house for so long that like sometimes you forget and you don't appreciate like what life has to offer you Oh, hold on. I'll be right back. My friend is calling me I'm I'm vlogging right now <laughs> Say hi <laughs> Say hi <laughs> Okay, okay guys, sorry about that. I am back. Um, so I was watching the sun go down, but then it just kind of disappeared in these clouds. So, yeah. Look, this is what it looks like. <laughs> the sun was right here and it was like going down and it's like, I don't know if you guys can kind of see it going down right there, but it like disappeared. I can't really see it at all. But look how pretty it is. You know, just chilling here. Um. I have been very, very, very emotional lately. Everything is just 
sensitive to me. Oh, everything is sensitive to me. And I did want to share a poem that I wrote last year. And um, it's going to be a poem that I'm going to have in my book that I'm writing. I am writing a book. Yes, I have been writing this book for I don't know how many long, how many years. Like it's been a really long time, but um, I do plan on releasing it very soon. Hopefully, I'm just right now like I'm working on adding more poems to the book and then um, adding the poems into like this file where I'm trying to make the book pretty much. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And it's very time consuming, especially with everything that I have going on. It's not a main priority. So I'm not making it one, but I am telling you guys that I am going to be having a... What was that? What the fuck? Okay. I know. I know I'm not the only one that heard that. So I'm a little freaked out right now. I'm gonna back up just a little bit. And this is why I have my car turned on. I was getting scared because. What the hell? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Okay, I'm gonna turn my car off. Just because I need to read this poem and I need it to be really quiet. Okay, so I'm gonna read it. It's called called weed you guys weed okay so spark it light it up let it out it's easy it made it easy the the pain was gone well at least temporarily i let it fog all the problems around i never healed because i didn't want to drown but i needed to drown so I could appreciate breathing. I never appreciated breathing. Now I deal with the outcome of it. It felt so good in the moment. Man, that shit was so thrilling. Not being able to feel it. But now it's back. Why did I rely on this to relieve it? Smoking weed isn't bad. I actually recommend it in certain situations. For me, it felt like an escape from my reality. I slept great at night and I had an appetite. I was okay with just being okay. But now that it's back, I just want to be okay with dealing. No traumas, no drama, just healing. So I really wanted to get into detail on the reason I wrote this poem. Because I feel like this poem hits home for me in a lot of ways and i feel like it might hit home for other people as well and i just wanted to explain where i was when i wrote this during this time i was thinking about how i had just gotten out of my engagement and um and i was trying to figure out what i could do to stop feeling the way that I felt, like with the breakup and the cheating and the the everything like that I went through with that shit, you know, it was hard. And so, um when I had went through my breakup with the that time around, I I did the same thing. I went and smoked every day and did everything that I could just to make sure that like you know I didn't feel anything I didn't want to feel anything smoking like it really just makes you numb to everything and and I just fell in love with that feeling of being numb and not having to deal with like my issues or deal with the pain that I was feeling and it really just sometimes it's just an escape for you you know um, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know that me and Mike have always been on and off in a relationship for the past three years. So, I have wrote, I've written poetry about me and him, I've written poetry about me and my ex, I've written poetry about my ex after that, and just in general, like, people in my life, or just encounterments, entanglements, anything that you can think of, I have wrote poetry about the times and the feelings that I felt in those moments. But this one in general hit home for me because I felt like I was always constantly relying on weed after I was hurting to go 
and solve my problems. But this last time that I went through the breakup, I actually didn't smoke at all. Instead, I invested all of my time into writing this poetry book more and just kind of sitting with myself and thinking about all of the pain that I have felt in my life, you know, like, and I know it's crazy to say, cause like I did have a good childhood and I grew up and like, you know, I wasn't very like broke. Like I had everything that I needed. Let's put it that way. Like everything that I needed, I had. And, um, you know, that's just what it was. But when you're an adult and you actually start going through life and you have to pay bills and you, you're in relationships and you're working and you know you're not making enough and just everything like that, like it all takes a toll on you, man. And like you just don't know what to do because as we growing up like nobody teaches you how to heal from pain it can be any type of pain just pain in general if you're feeling some type of way if you're hurting inside like no one teaches you how to feel better like all you can do is teach yourself so i tried to teach myself and i mean i'm not gonna say that i'm like number one at healing because i'm not but you know i have more clarity and more understanding on where i am what i want and just things like that so healing isn't as hard for me as before you know that doesn't change the fact that like i feel everything and i love people with without even you know without a doubt like i'm a big love person like i love people unconditionally it doesn't matter like if you did me dirty like yeah i may freaking like can't stand you you may have you may be a piece of shit but like you know there's always going to be some type of love that i feel for you in some type of way but it's never going to be the same you know but the poem was me Oh my god, I'm so paranoid, dude. Was me basically going back to a place where I... Where, like, a lot of us, we we hide and we run and we don't face everything that we feel. We try to, like, mask it with other things, you know? And maybe weed was mine and maybe drugs are yours and other drugs. I don't know. But I guess it was just more of, like, me telling myself no more masking no more running no more hiding like you need to feel this feel it all look yourself in the mirror every day and tell yourself how worthy you are of being loved and just everything that you deserve because you do deserve that like you know at the end of the day like you deserve whatever it is that you want and that's that why am i so paranoid i hear someone Oh, it was guys on a bike. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw them. But yeah, um, so this poem just really, really, really like resonates with my my healing process and everything that I've been through, you know. Um It was so easy to go and smoke weed. Like it made everything so easy. Hence the reason why I wrote this poem. It made it all easy, you know. But I have learned growing up now that like you really have to just if you want to be stronger, if you want to really, really heal from everything that you've been through, you have to go just head on into that shit because otherwise it's gonna be there. It's gonna linger, it's gonna um, go into your next relationships and your relationships after that and like you may think that a relationship from maybe like 10 years ago doesn't affect you now but it does if you don't deal with it if you don't heal from it you know and healing takes a lot of time like it really does because you know healing sucks <laughs> but it's okay because at the end of the day you're gonna be okay god has a plan for you and maybe you're not even religious maybe you don't even believe in god but just trust me on this when i tell you that the higher power the universe they they got you as long as you keep thinking positive about what you want and all of those things like you're gonna you're gonna have it i believe that i really truly believe that and I'm still young, I'm still stupid, I still make dumb mistakes, I still make dumb decisions, and, you know, that's just what it is, and 
I wouldn't have it any other way because that's my life. That's who I am. And I'm never going to stoop low on anyone's level. I'm always going to be me. I'm always going to love. I'm always going to be a lover. Like, I can't even explain it. I'm so loving. Like, ugh. sometimes I hate it. I'm not even going to lie because, you know, you just love everyone. You just want to just show everyone how much you love them all the time. So yeah so i just wanted to read that to you guys um i know this video is different than my usual videos but that's what youtube is about guys but if you guys made it this far comment down below weed <laughs> well i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye